In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the coordinate vector from an orthonormal basis. The question reads, the set S, which includes these three vectors, is an orthonormal basis of R3. Find the coordinate vector U relative to this basis. It's important to mention that before we start, we have done this in the past, but using a different method. In the past, we set it up where we said that the coordinate vector U relative to s is equal to a constant k times the first vector in the set plus a second constant k2 multiplied to that plus k3 multiplied to that. Eventually we would set up a matrix and solve for it to find out what k sub 1, sub 2, and sub 3 are, which is what we're looking for here. However, this is a shorter method which works only for an orthonormal basis. So here's how it works. Once again, I'll say that the coordinate vector u relative to s is equal to, since we have three vectors, we'll start with this very first one. I'll call this v sub 1, v sub 2, and v sub 3, just for reference sake. And what you do is you find the inner product of each of these vectors with u. So let's go ahead and do that. We have v2 with u. And remember, that's our vector. And v3 with u, the inner product. And we already know how to find the inner product. The way you do that is you multiply the components of v1, for example, with those of the other vector, u. And then you take their sum. So I'll show you this one. We have 1 over the square root of 2 multiply 2, 9, plus, again, 1 over the square root of 2, multiply to 4, plus 0 times negative 2. So the sum of this will be placed in that position. That would have served as your k sub 1 had we done it the old way that I showed you in that previous video. And by the way, the link to that is in the description. So by Summing these up, you should end up with 9 over the square root of 2. Let me show you this one as well. Again, our first component happened to be the same and our second component, except it was negative. So we'll just repeat this, and instead of this plus, we put minus. If you do that correctly, the sum should equal to 5 over the square root of 2. And by doing this one, the inner product of v3 with the vector u, if you do it correctly, you should end up with negative 2. So what you have right here is called the coordinate vector u relative to s. As a challenge, try to do it the old way and see how the answer there compares with this one. You're going to find out that it's the exact same. And there you have it. That is how to find the coordinate vector from an orthonormal basis.